everyone, it's December 6th, so it's day 6 of Vlogmas. This is just a quick hello morning. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my book room. I'm going to be doing some book filming this morning, so I thought I'd film the intro here. Um, I will be walking downtown in Tariska a bit later on. I will be <laughs> taking my time. I will take you with me. I need to go to the bank and do a few errands. Um, the reason I walk is because Risca is terrible for parking. You cannot park anywhere unless you go somewhere like Lidl's or Pub. <laughs> I'm not going to either of those, so it's not fair to use their car park. So I won't be going in there. So I should walk down. Knowing my luck, I'll walk down. There'll be tons of car parking just to annoy me and to, to show you guys. But I will show you what the parking's like in Risca. It's terrible. I'm just going to have a nice walk uh, around the quick round of the shops, just to get some money out of the bank, pop in the spa, have a quick look at the charity shop if it's open. I want to see what time it opens because I've got some stuff to take down. And then we'll walk through the park and then back up the hill, which will kill me. Because obviously I'm getting out of breath a lot because I'm being pregnant and also I suffer from chronic asthma, so that's not good. So I'm going to crack on with my booktube filming and I will see you when we take a walk downtown. See you in a bit. Bye. So it's very grey um, today. It's not very nice. Looks like it might rain, so I'm just going to go and take a quick. I say quick. It's not going to be quick. It'll take me as long as it takes to get down there because I just get exhausted so quickly at the moment. It's not so bad this stretch. And it's not so bad when I'm actually in town. My keys got my inhaler. I always have to double check everything. I haven't got my purse. Yes, I have. <laughs> I couldn't feel it. Um, but because I'm terrible for forgetting things. Um, but it's the. Uh, this hill, which you'll see in a minute when I come around the corner. It's obviously it's not so bad going down. I do struggle coming up. So, there we are. So this is the hill. It's, it doesn't look very hilly. And in the grand scheme of things for Wales, it's not. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you down in town. So I remember what I said about parking, it's usually really quite hard. It is, as you see, there's quite a lot of cars parked on this road and we're not actually in the town yet. Um, saying that though, like I said, there are actually a space. There's a space along here, but let's have a quick look at the park over there. Very nice, we'll walk through the park later on the way back. Um, but when we get around the corner, um, it might not be too bad, but we'll see. So there's a space here. So here we are. Normally when you come around this corner, you see there's a van parking in a space, which is fine. There are cars parked all up this stretch of pavement and you can't get past normally. Um, might be because it's later in the day and some of the independent shops in Risk are shut. Um, at one o'clock on a Wednesday. Whether or not they all will, I don't know. Obviously Greg's is open. We're not going to buy anything in Greg's. So, so I'm surprised there's actually spaces. So I got my cash out as planned. I'm going to walk across through the park. I couldn't think of the words in a minute. We'll go across there. But this is the charity shop that I donate stuff to. I was just checking the times. So it's Wednesday they shut at 1. So Thursday they shut at 4, Friday 3 and Saturday 1. So that's cool. And then Monday and Tuesday they're open 9.30 to 4. As long as I know what time it is, I can do it. So it's going to cross the road. Busy road, so I'm gonna turn you off for a minute. We have got Christmas decorations up in Risca. There's the tree, but of course it's uh, daytime, so 
won't be able to see anything. Let's just take a stroll through the park. Peter Pan Pine for the oh. Peter Pan Panto at Risca Primary School. That's this Saturday, people, if you're interested. So we're just going to walk through the park to get back to the, the hill. So it's only a quick walk to see, uh, like I said, to get some money out of the bank and pick up a newspaper. I picked up something else, so I'll show you when I get back. So. As you see, it's very, very cold and grey today, so there's no one around. Obviously, there's nobody in there. the great park over there at the moment. As they're all at school. But, uh, yeah. So, we had a bit of an incident on the weekend, sadly. Which you'll be able to see a bit better in a bit of this. statue here of Samson which commemorates the park being donated by Lord Tradiga to the people of Risca on the event of the Queen, Elizabeth, uh, Queen Victoria's Platinum Jubilee Diamond Jubilee actually, Diamond Jubilee um, it is actually a bronze statue, I can remember it being bronze, it's, they recently kept it in gold paint for some reason, I'm not sure why, but last Saturday, some vandals decided it would be a good idea to paint it blue, as you can see there is still some blue paint on it, luckily they've got most of it off. They also defaced, I'm not sure, but one of the two bins, either side, as you can see it's commemorated 1902. that I don't know but in my opinion they should be shot so that's what happened here on the weekend so there was a lot of outcry about it so one of the council don't want to give us anything nice when that happens and this park is an amazing space you know in summer it's filled with people having picnics and kids play in, they got their own little play park. I'm just glad they didn't trash that because that would have been really bad. And we have like summer and winter fairs down here. And uh, so it's uh, very sad that somebody would do something like that to a space that's owned by everybody in Risca. It's, it's everybody's space. We're a bit busy. There you go. So yes, vandals should be shot, in my honest opinion. Right, so we're just coming back to that hill. Do you remember the one I showed you on the way down, which isn't that steep when you're coming down it? It's not really that steep going up it, but you'll see that it's quite difficult in a minute. So this is the hill going back up, and it's not a big steep hill, it's really not, but oh, it's hard work when you're seven months pregnant and you suffer from chronic asthma anyway, so. Fortunately, I live the entrance to where the white car is, you can't really see it. But the white car sticking out, there's an entrance behind there. And if the one behind there, so it won't take too long, but it gets steeper. I'll show you how steep it does get when we get to it. I'm not going up that far though. You can't really see it, but around the corner, the hill gets really, really steep. Um, where that car's coming from now. Where the bus is going. 
the way I turn into here. As you see, it's nice, pretty level. Not completely though. Get steeper up the top. But it's not too bad to get to my front door, so I'll see you inside in a minute. So I've just got back down, back in, and I'm sitting down having a rest before I go out again, because I'm going to mum's in a minute. Um, but yeah, I went into, I got some money out, and I went into Spa to buy a newspaper. Came out with two because they were giving away the Telegraph for free, so <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll take it, have a look through it, see if there's any in it. But while they're there, I noticed they had the new uh, Yours Retro magazine, which is a, I think it's a quarterly magazine, I'm not sure. <sighs> oh God, I'm so... Yeah, it's a quarterly magazine, I think, uh, it's out every three months, and obviously it focuses on retro things. They've done Marilyn on the cover once. Um, but this month, or uh, well, this time, we've got Judy on the cover, so I picked it up because there's an article on Judy Garland. If I find it, if you show it, yeah. Written by uh, Gary Horrocks, who runs the Judy Garland fan club, or the Judy Garland club as it's called now. Um, but there's also magical Christmas films. I can see there's a wonderful, it's a wonderful life there. There's an article on Debbie and Debbie Reynolds and Carrie Fisher, which would be interesting because I'm currently reading um, Princess Diarist. Article on the Persuaders, so that's Roger Moore and Tony Curtis. Then there's Roy Orbison, Black Beauty, which is a TV show, Mods and Minis, Mysterious Your Brinner, When Laurel Met Hardy, a fan club roundup, and lots, lots more. So it's an interesting magazine and it does the TV films and all sorts of things that were popular in the UK back in the day. So I'm going to read that later. I'm going to pop to mum's in a bit, just for an hour or so, just to get out, you know, just to see another adult, other than looking at a computer screen. <laughs> Baby's kicking, so, oh dear, she's killing me. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be popping out a little bit just down to mum's, so that's why I haven't taken my coat off, because I'm going back out as soon as I get my breath back. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, it's getting late and I've actually forgotten to put this vlog up, so I'm going to do it now. Um, I've got to be honest, I got back from my mum and dad's, I've got to take the camera with me. Um, I had something to eat and then I did some filming. I'm still uploading the filming, now even using, changing it to a MPEG, it's just I'm still not uploading very quickly. I don't know if it's because of the time of day I'm trying to upload it or, or what. So maybe we'll try a larger file early on the day. I spent part of the afternoon watching some Judy Garland videos on YouTube um, as part of the Judy Room. Um, mostly it's songs with photographs and they're rare recordings so they're really nice to hear. Um, so as you can see I've got my pyjamas on, I'm wrapped up in my um, my dressing gown and I'm absolutely absolutely exhausted. I'm going to go and have a bath in a minute before I go to bed because it will help me sleep. At least I hope it will help me sleep. Um, Tomorrow I'm off to the uh, choir practice rehearsal, so that should be fun. I'll take you with me. You won't be able to see much, but, you know, at least I guess I, I might pop in to, to help you craft if I feel up to it. Um, I'm not feeling too good today. I'm just feeling a bit out of sorts, <clears throat> which is probably why I forgot to, to finish the vlog off. So, yeah, so I've filmed some videos. I've uploaded a couple, a um, bit, of, bit of colouring, obviously some reading. Uh, but generally, I just spent the evening ch chilling out um, on the sofa with Paul, who's now up in bed because he's got work tomorrow. Um, but that's about it, really. I'll see you tomorrow. And hopefully I won't forget to put tomorrow's vlog up on time. <laughs> We're still, it's still the 6th. It's just getting on into the evening. So I'll see you soon. Bye.